Hey there, Virgo. Welcome, welcome. This is Renee, and welcome back. Well, we're going to take a look at your May reading, see what's going on for May. For all my Virgos out there. And we're going to take a look at love, money, and general reading. Um, I'm also going to pull your fortune oracle, and I'm going to read what that means at the end, so stay tuned. I'm also going to pull your angel number at the end. And that will give you angel guidance and an affirmation. Okay, so let's see what we have for Virgo. For May 2023, what do we have for Virgo in love? We have pay attention to the red flags. The signs are cautioning you. Okay, my Virgos, you may get some red, red flags about someone who is coming into your life, or who's already in your life. Um, the Spirit is letting you know to watch the signs. Okay, watch the red flags. This one. Okay, for your money, we have hold your vision, fixed moon. So whatever you're working on in your money situation, um, I feel like spirit is letting you know to keep pursuing that because what you're doing is paying off for you, right? So whatever you're doing, my lovely Virgos, hold fast and keep going, okay? Don't give up just yet when it comes to your money situation because I feel like spirit is letting you know that things are working out for you. Exactly. What did I say? We have expect miracles. Remember that only love is real. Miracles will occur naturally. Spirit has your back. You know, you're be you could be divinely guided at this time, right? There's miracles happening for you. Or there are miracles happening for you in May, okay? So, let's see, we're gonna move these over here. Okay, and we're gonna get your Fortune Oracle. I needed some time off, so I, I look. I took like two days off so that I could kind of recuperate, meditate, you know, just get my mind right. So now I got to get back into the swing of it. So what fortune oracle do we have? We have number 36, the world. Be open to new possibilities in all areas of your life. This is a really good card, my lovely Virgos. Really good card. It means the possibilities are endless. They are opening up the possibilities in your life. Now, we're going to take a look at the extended meeting, meaning at the very end. So stay tuned for that, okay? So stick around, my lovely Virgos. So, so let's go ahead and take a look at... What is going on for love for my wonderful Virgos? What's happening for Virgo in love the month of May? What's happening for Virgo in the month of May? Okay, we have, oh, look at that, the chariot. Another good card. The chariot is in your overall energy. We have the Page of Wands. We have the Queen of Pentacles. And the Queen of Pentacles actually wanted to come out uh, kind of in the reverse. So uh, someone could be jealous. Someone may be being kind of selfish at this time when it comes to love. You know, um, that may be the reason why you have pay attention to the red flags. So just so you know that, yeah, someone could be very jealous of you this month, in the month of May. Jealous of what you're doing, what's going on. 
I feel like there's a lot of eyes on you in the month of May. Okay, we have the star and we have temperance. Look at all those major arcanas. Beautiful energy for the month of May. Okay, at the bottom we have the Queen of Cups energy. So I feel like there's definitely love coming in if you are um, single and looking to start a new relationship. There's definitely love coming in for you in the month of May. There's someone's attention that you're getting in the month of May. Now, I feel like she's just dipping her toes in the water, but she's also protecting her cup here. So I feel like you may be a little reserved in the month of May when it comes to the love situation. I feel like you're very choosy, you're very picky on who you may be dealing with. You may need to kind of temper the water to see, you know, how this certain person makes you feel. Okay, because I feel like, you know, you're protecting your energy there. But definitely something has the ability to grow. Okay, there's some energy here for you when it comes to love. And I feel like with this Page of Wands energy, there is someone who wants to send you a message. There is someone who really wants to explore the situation because I feel like a lot of people are looking at you in the month of May, my beautiful uh, Virgos. And I feel like you're moving. You know, you're moving forward. You're very, very uh, attractive right now. Even though you may be going through healing, you know, you may be kind of patiently waiting for a situation to start to unfold. Um, I feel like someone sees you as a star. Someone sees you as this bright, shining energy that they're like magnetically pulled to, magnet magnetically drawn to. That may be the reason why people are jealous of you. You know, because I feel like there's a lot of people who are looking at you wondering, you know, how how is Virgo so appealing? You know, what makes them so special? You know, but you are, you are special. Okay, so let's go ahead and take a look at money. What is going on for Virgo's money situation? Spirit, give me a message. Now, I'm feeling that some of you Virgos could be literally moving. You could be moving to a new apartment, a new house, you know. Um, but I feel like definitely your energy is moving in the right direction. And I feel like people are just drawn to you this month. Okay, so you may get not one, not two, but you may get several offers or several people may be interested in you this month, Virgo. Okay, so let's take a look at your money. What's going on with Virgo's money? Okay, the Eight of Wands, you're taking a lot of action. You know, you're you're doing a lot of things this month. This could also be communication coming in for you. We have the King of Swords. We have the Six of Swords. Definitely you're moving into a more improved situation when it comes to your money situation. Now we have the Chariot again. So definitely that's double confirmation that you're moving in the right direction. There it goes. So definitely, things are improving for you money-wise, okay? And Spirit is letting you know that good things are coming to you. There's a lot more possibilities that are coming for you in uh, the month of May, okay? So, and we have the Knight of Wands at the bottom. So definitely, there's something that you may, may need to take action on. Look at this. We have the Sun as well. So... By keeping yourself busy and making sure that all your T's are crossed and your I's are dotted, you know, whatever actions that you're taking in the month of May are going to bring you a lot of happiness and abundance. Now, the sun can also mean an awakening, right? So you could have an awakening 
when it comes to your money situation, there may be this aha moment where it's like things become clear where you need to put your money at, where's what's going to bring you the best return. Okay, so we have the King of Swords. The King of Swords energy, this energy is like being very disciplined with your money, knowing how to, you know, being this great thinker, knowing how to increase your money, knowing where to put your money, being a good investor, you know, and I with the Six of Swords next to the uh, King of Swords, I feel like, you know, things are improving for you in the month of May. Things are looking up. You know, if you had a hard time in the month of April, I feel like things are making a turnaround in the month of May. Okay, so you're getting things to become more stable, your finances, and, you know, things are calming down for you. Okay, with the Eight of Wands energy, this is rapid growth. Okay, or, you know, making some kind of rapid action here. There's a lot of movement. And you could need to make some quick decisions when it comes to your money matters. Okay, so be aware of that. And with the chariot energy, wow, what did I tell you? You know, you are moving forward in a very strong direction. Okay, there's a lot of self-control. This is also a card of being disciplined because, you know, they're leading this chariot. There's no reins attached to these sphinxes. There's no reins here. So they're being led by the universe and they're trusting that they're following the right path. So that takes a lot of discipline, my lovely Virgo. And I feel like, you know, the, the chariot card, this is also a card of success. So there's going to be a lot of success for you. There's going to be a lot of successful moments for you in the month of May. So there's going to be good reason to celebrate. Okay. With the Six of Cups energy, this is being restored. Okay. So something that you may have lost will be restored to you in the month of May. Okay? So, I mean, this is a really good reading. I'm really liking this for you for this month. Okay, so let's go ahead and take a look at what is coming up for my lovely Virgo's challenge. What will be challenging you in the month of May? What is going to be Virgo's challenge in the month of May, please? Give me a message, Spirit. Okay, the Judgment card. The Knight of Pentacles. And the Knight of Cups. Two Knights. At the bottom, we have the Ace of Pentacles and the High Priestess. So, there's a new beginning here. You know, there's a new beginning here. For my lovely Virgos. And I feel like the questions that you need answered, they're going to be revealed to you. You know, whatever you're questioning at the moment is going, it's all going to be clear, right? Um, you're going to get that clarity you need. You just need to trust that the universe has your back, that you are protected, that you are being guided. You know what we were saying? Miracles. Miracles will occur naturally. Spirit has your back, right? So, with this judgment card as your challenge, you know, you may need to reflect back on certain situations. Um, when it comes to the Knight of Pentacles, um, there's going to be hard work ahead. And I feel like you know, you have to reflect on what you are accountable for. You know, take responsibility for your actions. Be very intuitive and aware, you know, where things are going, what's happening to you this month. Okay? So, and I feel like the spirit is just reconfirming about those red flags, whether it's in love or money or anywhere else in your life, to be aware and be fully woke when it comes to situations, right? With the Knight of Cups, we have 
you know, being able to follow your heart. You know, being very open to situations. You know, not blocking yourself off. Okay? So, I feel like that is your challenge. But you have a new beginning here. And this could very well be a new job that you're starting. Some kind of new money is coming into you. Some kind of unexpected money with the Ace of Pentacles and High Priestess. Um, but let's go ahead and get your advice. What advice do we have for Virgo for the month of May? What advice do we have? Okay, the Page of Cups. The Seven of Cups. And the Four of Cups in reverse. At the bottom we have the Devil. Okay, so I feel like with this advice this advice is for you to release the negative energy don't speak any negative words you know just get them out of your mind be weary of confusing situations having too many options these are all cups here you know so this this has to deal with advice concerning your emotions so maybe you're an emotional emotional spender you're an emotional eater maybe you take actions emotionally you know um, I feel like spirit is letting you know to be aware of your emotions during the month of May okay so with this page of cups energy you know I feel like there's a happy surprise that's coming in for you the page of cups is also my card of believing that the impossible is possible you know so it could be that you know things are coming around to where a impossible possibility is coming back around for you in May and spirit is letting you know not to miss this opportunity this is something that you're going to want to accept. This is something that you're going to want to really take advantage of, right? And I feel like, you know, keeping the negativity away from yourself is going to really be helpful. You know, letting things go that no longer serve you. Don't be tempted, you know, with this devil and this hierophant in reverse. You know, don't be tempted by things. You know, don't serve someone who's not willing to serve you does that make sense you know don't you know think that don't think that people always have the best intentions you know um, because not everyone thinks the same way you do, Virgo. So I feel like, you know, letting things go that don't serve you. Letting things go that don't fit, right? If it doesn't feel right, it doesn't fit, okay? So let's go ahead and clarify these cards for you real quick, okay? We're going to clarify your love reading and your money reading real quick. So... We'll do love first. Okay. Spirit, give me a message. Why is the Page of Wands and the Queen of Pentacles here? Give me a message. Why is the Page of Wands and the Queen of Pentacles here? What does Virgo need to know? Okay. The Three of Wands. Okay. And the star and the temperance. Why is the star and the temperance here? Why is the star and the temperance here? The two of pentacles. Okay, we have the eight of swords on bottom. Like I said, I feel like you may be holding yourself back when it comes to um, love situation, right? I feel like you're kind of patiently waiting for something to happen. And there may be an important decision that you need to make. Um, another feeling that I'm getting with the Two of Pentacles is to set your standards. You know, set your standards high, Virgo. 
because we have the three of wands here and I'm, I'm really feeling like with this three of wands energy clarifying the page of wands and the the um, queen of pentacles I feel like you know you're looking ahead but it seems like if things may have the ability to really move fast okay um when it comes to the three of wands energy this is you know growing expanding okay so something may be growing really fast someone's emotions are growing really fast um for you or you for them right um, but I feel like spirit is letting you know to set your standards high. Make something a priority because you are worth it. You are a star, right? So that is what I have for my Virgos in love. And let's see, with this Eight of Swords energy, and like I said, I feel like... I feel like you're holding yourself back from some kind of conflict, you know? I, I, what I'm getting is you're moving away from some kind of drama. There's something that happens in May. And this is just for some of you, so take it how it resonates. But you're, you're kind of protecting yourself from the drama. It could be because this jealous person, someone who's being jealous, selfish, you know, someone who just really doesn't value you as a person and you're like i don't have any time for this i'm just like ready to go i'm ready to move i'm ready to move on with this chariot card right because there's some reason why you're defending yourself and it could be because you're manifesting you're you're working on your happiness here right you're you're working on yourself on um building this cup this beginning okay so let's go ahead and take a look at your money situation why is the king of swords and the six of swords here spirit give me a message why is the king of swords and the six of swords here okay the three of wands again look at this three of wands three of wands you're you're growing you're expanding something is moving something's going to be moving very quickly for you in the month of may definitely double confirmation something's growing your ships you know you're you're standing here watching that ship come in watching something move and grow you know and i'm, I'm also getting for some of you you know, this is your time to soar. This is the best time to start something. Okay? So if you've been working on some kind of money issue, some kind of new venture, new business, new um, side hustle, this is the time to get started. Okay? This is the time to just pursue what it is that you want because you're going to have a lot of success. We have the chariot, the six of cups, and the six of wands. Double sixes. Right? So definitely, we have the star again. So definitely double confirmations here. We have the three of wands twice. We have the chariot twice. Okay? We have the star twice. So double confirmations here for you. Right? And we have the ten of pentacles. So something is going to bring you a lot of abundance. I, I feel like there may be... There's healing here. Look at this. This three of swords is in reverse. Those swords have fallen away from the heart. And now this heart is healing. Right? So some kind of financial situation that left you really in doubt, really discouraged. That's going to be restored to you. You know, you're going you're gonna to be very happy with this outcome. With the sun and the, and the ten of pentacles. You know, this is a good month for you. There's building here, okay? So I'm liking this for you, Virgo. So let's go ahead and take a look and see what the world has to say for Virgo. Let's see what's going on for Virgo. The number 36, okay. 
This card represents a time of completion and achievement. You have probably just completed a major life cycle and are ready for the next level. Although you have endured major hardships, perhaps some heartache, you are stronger, wiser, and more confident now. This is a fulfilling time on many levels as past efforts are well rewarded. You will broaden your horizons and live life to the fullest. Okay, travel is a standout and many trips are indicated. The world is your oyster and march on to splendid victories. Okay, for relationships, people born overseas who live in a distance will come into your life frequently. You will form some wonderful love relationships and great friendships. Single searching for love should investigate online dating services. It is an ideal time to give it a go as the vibe is very positive for meeting new friends, lovers, and partners. Networking and communication is key to the period ahead for success in all areas of your life. Okay, for career and money. Now is an outstanding time for money, inheritances, investments, and property will all go particularly well and see an increase in your collateral. It is also an excellent time to branch out in business and see rewards for past efforts. Okay, and your power tip. Place a small globe of the world on your desk and make sure all watchers and clocks are working in your home to bring good fortune into your life. Okay, so that is the world. That is the meaning for you this month. Okay, so let's go ahead and take a look at your angel number. What do we have for my lovely Virgo this month? Okay, we have 222 two, two balance. Now is the time to take inventory of your feelings. Are there any feelings of imbalance or resistance? Divine whispers are here to remind you that the alignment that you seek also seeks you. Breathe, rest, and reset. Okay, your affirmation. What feels peaceful and calm easily finds me as I restore the balance within me. Okay, so that is your affirmation. Beautiful. Okay, my lovely Virgo. If this reading resonates, please like and subscribe. If it doesn't resonate with you, feel free to take a look at your other placements. They may, may be more prominent for you at this time. And until your next reading... Many blessings to you. Love and light.